Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh And a very good day uh, My name is Muhammad Faiza bin Omar uh, We are from Department of Division Science School of Quantitative Sciences University of Utara Malaysia So our presentation entitled An Integrated Quantitative Approach for University's R&D Performance Measurement and Research Framework So basically this is a conceptual paper that demonstrates our research uh, framework for the for our quantitative approach that uh, we develop to cater the university's uh, strategic planning to measure what is the performance of the R&D uh, within a university. Okay, so this is the presentation outline for today. We start with introduction, literature review, problem statement, our approach. Our research framework, discussion and conclusion. So basically performance measurement is a key component of organization management. So it is very important uh, in order to show what is the state of art of the performance at real time. Yeah. So it will highlight the weaknesses and also what is the strength within an organization and it also will give what is the current scenario of the organization so the stakeholder will see okay so this is the uh, current scenario how we could probably rectify or do some intervention in order to make uh, uh, the situation become better okay and then it also promote dynamic decision making so uh, based on data so so we don't want to make decision by just intuition or by just solely based on human judgment but we would promote decision making that based on evidence based on uh, data based on quantitative approach that probably will involve some prediction and or, or, or probably some simulation and then uh, we based on that simulation we design an effective strategic planning in order to support especially the operational uh, management okay so some literature review here so basically for university's r and uh, in university so we have a pool of researchers right so uh, at national level uh, we have uh, Malaysia Research Assessment or we call it MIRA but at university level in every university uh, I believe that most of the university have their own strategic planning okay so based on that strategic planning they try to measure what is the current performance of the researchers or faculty within the university uh, that can probably support the national agenda for example they want to achieve excellence in Myra for example or they want to achieve excellence in THE or QS so each of the agenda uh, for example Myra, QS, THE or UI Green or whatever it is so it must have some form of a criteria or KPI okay uh, and then uh, in each of the criteria or KPI there must be a, the target now the target or the performance uh, that you from the faculty will be displayed uh, in the form of real-time strategy planning or in the dashboard or in the balance scorecard system and uh, this becomes the evidence of the performance of uh, the faculty or the faculty member okay so uh, it's also important to prioritize uh, for example all the agendas that is available for example which one is the most important is it Myra or is it K uh, THG is it QS so that become important another one is uh, is each and every KPIs that they integrate between all these uh, Myra Myra KPI and then uh, THE QS and so on probably they integrate together 
as an individual KPIs and then uh, how actually these KPIs being prioritized yeah? the first one you will prioritize the agenda the second one we prioritize or we put a weight for the specific KPIs based on the importance of, the, of each of the KPIs okay so that is uh, the important thing now next is about a problem statement uh, there are two things or two problems that arise from what I've mentioned just now first is about the prioritization of the agenda or prioritization of the uh, KPIs itself and another one is the imbalance of KPI allocation to the faculties okay there are faculties that probably incline towards uh, a specific KPIs there are faculties that probably incline towards uh, probably I give example faculty A probably inclined towards Scopus faculty B probably inclined towards uh, journal article uh, referee journal articles so how actually to compromise between these two faculties uh, because these two faculties actually contribute towards Myra Myra agenda so how actually you are going to put some weightage and at the same time being compromised uh, between each other so this is most important to see the strat the strategy in order to allocate the annual KPI to this faculty okay so this become a challenge right so uh, so based on this uh, probably we could some sort of like hypothesize that uh, we have these two problems of prioritization and imbalance we probably can overcome this problem by using a specific technique or developing the tools uh, that call multi-criteria decision making or technique or we call it an MCDM and another one for the allocation of the KPI, annual KPI we use a machine learning technique called K-means clustering we cluster based, based on the previous, uh, previous performance of that faculty and based on that performance, we allocate uh, the KPI uh, accordingly. Yeah? And then we put less burden to the less performing uh, criteria to that particular fa uh, faculty. So in other way, we actually encourage uh, a specific talent to that faculty. Uh, for example, just now, I give uh, some example where faculty A probably good at Scopus, faculty B good at uh, referee journals. So probably faculty A will have more weightage in Scopus while faculty B will have more weightage on the referee journal while faculty B will have lesser burden of Scopus and faculty A will have lesser bo uh, burden of uh, non referee journals. So it becomes compromise. But at, uh, for the university target, we do not compromise that. It's still the same uh, target that we want to achieve. Yeah? So only we compromise at faculty level only. Okay, So that's how it works. So that is our hypothesis basically. Yeah? All right. So by use by having these tools, it will help the university uh, become you know to have more uh, fair and balanced uh, KPI system. Right. This is our research frameworks. Okay. So first we identify the research problem. So we already identified the research problem in the university, namely University A. Yeah. And then uh, we have done some literature review and we have got some influencing factors as well. And uh, of course, we will uh, have a look on the data or strategic planning data. Okay. 
and then this uh, university A strategic planning uh, we we will done some interviews we have done this some interviews to get some what are the other factors or we validate the factors right and then uh, factors that contribute towards the prioritization of the agenda so we have done that and then uh, now we are in the, in the second stage where we are developing the tools the quantitative tool the integrated quantitative tool first we have developed the MCDM tool uh, which consists of uh, there are a few uh, quantitative techniques that call uh, TOPSIS uh, weighted sum model VCO and weighted product model and then based on this technique we choose the closest uh, technique to the average and uh, we choose one technique right and then uh, based uh, the second stage at the same time we also develop our KB plus 3 this is actually to look at how does you know uh, faculty incline to it, which uh, talent whether now this faculty is actually inclined towards uh, publication or, the, or this faculty this group of faculty probably inclined towards research so we are already in the process of developing the rules right and then uh, for these two uh, we have uh, get some some output but of course we haven't done the uh, the full result yet yeah so basically this is our our approach uh, to address research problem we hope that by developing this tool it will uh, later will help the top management in university to make a better decision a structured decision uh, which uh, they will monitor the KPIs in the R&D activities and we really hope that the uh, KPI allocation uh, will become more balanced and uh, more effective to impose to the specific uh, faculty in the university whether it is social science or science and technology so everybody work together to achieve the target of the university okay, so these are our references I think that's it thank you very much if there is any question please drop us a question uh, we'll try to address uh, your concern. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.